it's a nice morning so far. Yeah, I think Not so. Not bad at all. Yeah. Nice, nice for us because we're working together. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, we were talking about more cloud cover, mm -hmm, more humidity. Mm -hmm. But I also last time talked about meteorological summer, oh, right. which starts on June 1st. So mm -hmm. even though we still have a little less than three weeks to go for the official start of summer, that actually does mean something. And it also means our temperatures are going to start to soar when it comes to how warm they should be. All right. So Mother Nature right on time. Right on time, right on schedule. We actually have been pretty average for our temperatures lately, a little bit above. So it starts in June through August. That's what we call meteorological summer. And I just want to kind of show you what it means for the next couple of months where temperatures on average will go from around 79 degrees where it is right now to about 83 degrees by June 15th, July 1st, 87. And did you know the average high temperature in July, about July 15th, the peak at where we are for the year is 88 degrees. That's a little surprising for some folks considering, you know, we've been looking at some cooler weather lately. But yes, as we get into July, we will start to average closer to 90 than 80. Now, Sunday at a glance gives us increasing cloud cover, increasing humidity. I like to call it air you can wear. Not so much now, but certainly later on this afternoon. Tonight, showers and storms arrive late, mainly after 10 o'clock. And severe weather, while we are always on the lookout for it, is unlikely. And it's funny to think, by the way, that meteorological summer started yesterday. We've made it all through meteorological spring without, knock on wood, any big severe weather outbreaks. This is in contrast to 23, where we had severe weather multiple times in the spring and summer. Right now, no severe weather likely for today. We do have a couple of showers out toward the west from Ohio to West Virginia to the western part of our state. We'll see some of these showers race across the state today. There's a lot of dry air in place across our neck of the woods. So even as a couple of showers may try to approach us this afternoon, they will evaporate before they reach the ground. But it's tonight that will kind of moisten up the atmosphere a bit and give us a chance for those showers to come in, especially overnight and into tomorrow morning. There's Longport right now. Certainly more cloud cover than yesterday, but you know what? It's not a bad morning. Not a bad morning either in Philadelphia. There's I-95 South headed toward the airport. And then we've got Margate looking north there as well. In the background, 56 degrees in Allentown, 58 in Trenton. Right now, 65 in Center City. So we'll take a look at those temperatures that will continue to rise into the 70s and 80s today. At times, there'll be more clouds. At other times, we'll have some peaks of sunshine in place. But overall, not a terrible day. And also, we're going to be looking at a dry day. Now we get into tonight, a couple showers, a couple sprinkles out there. Certainly tomorrow morning, especially just south of the city, is where we'll have a better chance for some showers, maybe a few non severe thunderstorms, and that'll take us into your Monday afternoon as well. On the seven day plan, we will have a chance on Monday night to get in on a couple of showers, and then likely a little bit of a break on Tuesday with a high of 85 and partly cloudy skies. Our next system, Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday, and that will give us a better shot of showers and a couple of of thunderstorms. I think Wednesday into Thursday is probably the wettest period. Again, severe weather not likely this week, although we'll keep our eye on it and we may have a chance, Jan, to dry out as we head toward next weekend.